asymmetric conflict where one side in the conflict has overwhelming military power and technological sophistication and the resources of a state behind it to the extent that they cannot be beaten by the other side. The other side are so militarily unequal that they have very little choice other than to use their own civilian population as weapons. And that's true here in the conflict in Gaza, it's true in relation to the Taliban in Afghanistan, it's true in relation to various different forms of insurgents in Iraq and elsewhere. The second reason is the prevalence of conflict that involves groups that depend on fear to prevail rather than on popular support or consent and therefore have no need to worry about the civilian population. Combined also with the rise of religiously driven groups that consider human sacrifice of their own people to be very much subordinate to the cause that they are pursuing. The third reason is the increasing restraint of democratic combatants by political parties, by the UN, by human rights groups, various other pressure organisations and political organisations who are working to a political agenda that opposes a state or an alliance's right to exercise military force to defend its people. And all of this is amplified hugely, hugely, and multiplied by an ever-present and increasingly vocal and influential media. And linked to that third point is the increasing use of political warfare against Western powers.